Hello, hey, I'm so excited. I haven't shot YouTube in a while because I just moved house and I'm trying to settle down, but I am back I'm with a new set and all guys, you peeping my set and new ring lights with remotes, with tripod, everything. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, guys, you know, I need to go straight to in today's video, I'm going to share my top 10 tips for bomb Instagrammable product photos. So if you sell a product, you need to watch this video to the end because I'm just going to quickly want to talk about how to achieve the best photos of your products so that people will be attracted and they want to buy. The truth is, I've always been so good at this. I remember even as early as when I started this business, like my first couple of months but there was a time i found like um scrap wood in my house i bought spray paint white spray paint i sprayed the wood white because i wanted to use like i wanted to get a really nice white background I remember i bought a light box like guys i've been a hustler for time <laughs> like i've had nice photos for a while even when um there was a time that a lot of people used to ask me um oh lola who takes your photos for your products oh lola who does your instagram photos i'm like guys it's me and my iphone mm -hmm. yes so let's just go straight into it so i have my notes here by the way um because i want to drop quality and quantity for you guys if in 2021 though your ig pictures are still looking dead are still looking like midnight bruh <laughs> Please watch the video to the end because this video is definitely for so you. So tip number one, guys, if you are someone who sells any hand or body products, guys, you need to use your hand and use your body. Now, I'm, a lot of people don't feel comfortable putting their face in front of their camera, so that's fine. I'm not saying you should do that, but for example, you sell a bomb necklace like this. It's not enough, sis, to just put it on a piece of paper or put it on a piece of cloth or put it on your bed and snap it. Sis, wear it. We won't see how it's going to look on our necks. Do you get what I'm saying? Wear it. Let's see. And when you're wearing it, please, 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 please. We don't want to be seen ashes toes. Excuse me. We need it to look oily, sexy, Kim Kardashian vibe. Do you get what I'm saying? So, even if it means it's coconut oil, coconut oil is really good for this. Coconut oil, even Vaseline, bro, rub it. You get, and then you can get a glitter or like a like a glitter spray glitter oil and then just add some glitter to your skin you can even mix some oil with your highlighter your highlighter that you use for your makeup so that like you, you can glow you can mix some of it rub it on your skin rub it on your hands and show us the rings you're selling rub it on your neck and show us your necklace rub it on your ankle show us the anklets that you're saying do you get what i'm saying so give us a representation of how it would look that's what we want to see sis that's exactly what we want to see that's another way to differentiate yourself from every other Instagram brand. So many Instagram brands sell hand and body products, jewelry, whatnot. But then you can always make yourself stand out by showing us how, you, how you're wearing it. It's something that even me, like for a while, I've just been uh, trying to figure out how I'm going to do it for my business. Because with shoes, they're a little tricky. We have so many shoe sizes. So we have to have different models, different sizes. So we have models sometimes, but not all the time. I noticed that with pictures, when we have a model wearing it, we get more people to buy it more inquiries about it more than when we just use a plain background my sister-in-law sells bomb particles by the way like if you have any party that you need to go to and you just want, you want everybody to die when they see you guy go to listen miss ng anyway that's by the way so she told me something she said she noticed that when she models her clothes people are more fascinated people are more interested she gets more buyers quickly exactly guys it's the number one tip in the book number two don't use a boring background. Before I shot this video, it was like this. I don't know if the plant is completely out. It was a bit plain. And then we thought, boom, let's bring a plant. Something to give it a bit of life, a bit of color. So the same applies to when you're shooting your products. Add some accessories, but don't overdo it. Because sometimes <laughs> somebody will be selling lipstick. You see lemon, you see apple. I'm like, bro, is it lipstick that I'm still selling? Are we selling something else? So, Keep it simple, but keep it cool. Plants are great. Plants are always a wonderful addition. Sunglasses can be nice as well if you're selling fashion items. If you're doing food, then a great accessory would be um, orange slices, lemon slices, onion slices, even tomato slices, stuff like that. You get can upgrade your product photos. Um, 
there are some people on instagram i know about three handles oak ventures i think there's an oak ventures there is a simbi props i'm, I'm gonna put their handles in the description box and then there's a folake aya akoni i bought from simbi props and folake aya akoni they have all the backgrounds that you're going to need basically yeah anything that they don't have the thing probably doesn't exist i tell you this yeah and their prices are you know kind of decent so i think you should definitely um stop on those two instagram pages another thing another thing oh my god this tip number three but this one pins my chest tip number three is so simple this is my assistant's phone let me just show you the difference between oh just taking my phone and snapping okay and <sighs> then using a piece of cloth to clean your lens it's like 10,000 megapixels. I swear to you. The difference is always so mad. It's always so clear. Like, why would you take a misty or foggy picture when you can get high definition just by doing something simple as... <sighs> it's literally two breaths and then clean your lens. Guys, it makes such a huge difference. The day I figured this out... <laughs> whoo, whoo, yeah. Anyway, let's move on. Um, tip number four. In your photography daylight is your best friend let me tell you everything you heard about daylight is true over true so so true in fact it's the truth daylight is the bomb you can have artificial light though that's fine but you will always know that's not the same artificial light is nice but you need to use so much of it to achieve quality light and it can be expensive and we're in nigeria what if there's no nepa there's been so many issues with artificial lighting but i tell you this because i have a thick light now this marine light that's it but i also have daylight coming from this angle so mm, i'm pretty confident daylight is your best friend plan it where the sun is too high avoid it because then it will cast a shadow over what you're doing so try to target 7 a.m to 9 a.m weather i'm talking about nigeria now i don't know about other countries but this is my youtube channel is mostly for nigerians let me just say it now um try to target 7 a.m to 9 a.m weather and then target 4 p.m and upwards between 4 p.m and 6 p.m you get fantastic daylight daylight guys <laughs> uh ask any photographer the best light is daylight see god 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 is worse than all god knew what he was doing when he said let there be light that light that light that god said let there be light that's the light you're looking for this we move now your angles this is tip number five by the way your angles are everything sis you and i can both take the same pic picture of this thing okay but just because somebody tilted their phone like this the picture spots your angles are everything let me give you a quick tip for angling when you take a picture okay look at it and ask yourself if i saw this picture on instagram would this immediately spark my interest would this instantly make me stop scrolling if i saw this picture on on twitter would this make me instantly oh let me see enlarge it do you understand what i'm saying so ask yourself that when you take pictures and you're not sure which one to post you're not sure which angle is the best look at it in terms of look at it as if you're your customer as if you're your customer looking at the picture okay let's move tip number six please oh some people feel that you should not edit your pictures because it will change the way it looks guys please edit edit gives you hd quality and edit can take you from to, huh. do you get what i'm saying so the only thing is that you need to make sure that you don't over edit because when you over edit you can now completely change the appearance of the item and then your customer can now receive it and be like um what i ordered versus what i got mm -mm, mm -mm. do you get what i'm saying so don't over edit but definitely edit okay and some of the apps that i use for the longest time i think for the past maybe for four years straight on i only use my iphone the iphone has its own um editing apps let me try to show you guys this so can you see this here this is where it is so all these places let me take a photo good taking a photo i have a photo and then if you see if you look at it use part that says edit just right here this part that says edit that is the um feature that you use all these features you can increase and decrease as you like so that helps you. you can start with that you don't need to download any app to start with it and you need to practice the more you practice the more you figure out how to work your way around it 
um so most times when people ask me what camera i use guys this is what i use i just use my iphone app to edit as much as possible it also has a few filters the filters aren't great but the edit features are the best you can save it if you don't like your edits you can after you save you can um revert you find a button that says revert it lets you go back to your original settings for the for the picture awesome awesome feature recently i started using facetune on snapseed as well so what i use snapseed for is if i take a picture let's say i take a photo like this and there's some lipstick on my tooth hey and i don't want to do the picture because i really like it that's where snapseed is very useful what snapseed is really useful for um it's called snapseed i'll put the word in the thing so you can see it snapseed basically has a feature called the healing feature and with healing you can zoom into that tiny problem that you're trying to fix and rub your hand over it it's, so this it's is snapseed yeah yeah find your picture good okay, so let's see this is this. that one mm -hmm. good okay so this is two find healing zoom in for them yeah zoom into the thing that you're trying to clean if you just if you don't zoom in it can pretty much heal your whole picture and to ruin it so zoom into the exact problem that you're trying to address and then now rub your finger over it there you go slowly yep and to make it disappear another one Whoop. oh god oh god all gone and you can do that for the lipstick on your teeth or for pretty much and you can even remove a whole person from your picture it is so so cool another app that we use is facetune and what we use facetune for is really simple if you have a white background facetune can help you make your white background whiter if you have a rough background or a cloth that isn't ironed well enough facetune can help you make it smoother and snapseed is free facetune 2 is free but if you want like more features you can pay for the pro versions as well so let's show you real quick how facetune works this is facetune it's a free um iphone app i don't know about android uh you all need to check for it by yourselves but um i can tell you as far as um iphones go yeah use one of those um sunglasses pictures okay. all right yes yeah. so we're here now um, what we want to do is want to make the white background whiter. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right there. Did you find the whitening tool? Yeah. She's right there, rubbing it off. You can choose the degree of whiteness that you want. You can make it lower or make it whiter. Yeah, that's up to you. Right beside the whitening tool, you also find a smoothening tool that also help you make your background smoother you can also use this for your face as well people use this for selfies and whatnot very useful awesome app and it's free you can go for the pro version if you like and it has a few filters as well awesome i found this on i am dodos's um instagram or was it her youtube whatnot yeah so you can use this very well all right guys good luck so that's as far as editing your photos go let's move on to tip number seven there are some times that you don't want to post product um, photos maybe you want to make a special announcement or you want to add text to your product photos or you want to add like uh, like other designs to your product photos that's where canva comes in canva, canva is an, i mean i think everyone knows canva by now canva is an awesome app for that um very simply you can download the canva app i think they have it on um, android as well um you can download the canva app and if you don't know your way around canva or what to do i can't really teach canva because it's it's not something you learn in one day there's a babe on instagram her name is love from sheila go and find love from sheila on instagram she gives so many free tips about using canva like literally my canva game has up just from watching her page like i haven't even paid for any of her classes or any of her courses yet so i can imagine that there'll be so much more value in that in fact you on your own with your canva app you are a full-on graphic designer you are one yeah you don't even need to pay anybody as long as you have the time you can watch sheila's videos you can pay for any of her courses and she can teach you everything you need to know about canva tip number eight guys so excited we're almost done um you can also hire like if you're someone like me who doesn't have time i really don't have time to be taking product pictures for example if you have a nine to five as well as your business then you can definitely not settle down to take product pictures and edit especially if you have a lot of products like we do at the shoe shop oh by the way guys if you're enjoying this video please like it subscribe it and share it with everybody that you know you can also shop our amazing shoes the shoe shop.ng free nationwide delivery everybody in nigeria gets free delivery so no matter what corner you are 
okay let's keep it moving so you can hire somebody or outsource this responsibility to somebody i know a babe on instagram her name is alma pixels by alma basically you, you just show her your product you give her access to your products and she takes bomb instagram photos of your products for you so you just you want just to chill or you get you can hire somebody to do it if you need it like a full-time thing you can hire somebody to do it or just talk to alma alma is great at photos and other sorts of um content creation i think there's uh, i think uh sarah i think sarah does the same thing too sarah does amazing content creation for brands so you can reach out to any one of them they can help you out with your brand in case you feel like oh i don't have time or i don't even know where to start tip number nine guys you can get inspiration see you let me not lie people say a lot of things about be original be yourself don't copy but me i feel like ah, ideas have almost finished so i'm not against copying but copy with sense two tips to copy with sense if you want to copy with sense tip number one don't just copy it hook line and sinker introduce your personality introduce your individuality into what you're copying do you get that's tip number one so add something that is you add something that is part, your own idea mix it up with whatever you're copying two acknowledge the source um for example post inspired by this music inspired by this video inspired by this person add your source tag the person acknowledge that look i see you i appreciate the work that you're doing to the extent that i even got inspiration from you that's how you that's how you copy like a babe like a sharp babe that you are okay with sense okay so that's pretty much it as far as copying goes as far as um even um getting inspiration from other people goes and i feel like you can use this tip in this tip about inspiration in any aspect of life do you understand you can always the truth is that even sometimes we consume so much content through social media that sometimes we don't even know where we got the idea from but the idea would have been slowly planted in our mind in the process of scrolling through checking explore page ooh, checking this person's idea you don't even know that's another person's idea when it finally comes to you it, it's now maybe when you post it someone will say hi I did this first. this one's my idea my idea we don't really know whose idea anything we don't even know whose idea anything is you get so always acknowledge a source always mix it up with a bit of your own individuality tip number 10 guys post the damn photo some of you you are so perfectionist oh my god i have a friend like that we can use 10 hours to record boomerang record video record video. she will not post anything no. at the end of the day ah they are not always that thing Hey, I just feel that the way my teeth, the way my wig, the way my eyelash, bruh. If you know me, in fact, all you that know me already know me. I don't care for perfection because perfection is the one thing that sometimes stops me, stops you from going from where you are to where you want it to be. Because you're waiting for the picture to be perfect. You're waiting for the, you're waiting until you have one big ring light, one big video uh, photographer. You are waiting till George Okoro comes to come and record your picture. Yeah, sorry, uh, George Okoro, mommy. I feel sorry for you. It's not you can you may not even be able to afford it, but you're just listening to okay. Then we say I can afford um this celebrity photographer, guys. Look, you're trying to get from where you are to where you want to be, and sometimes the only thing you can use to get from where you are to where you want to be is what you have. So if what you have right now is your iPhone and a little sunlight, girl, you better shoot that video. Get your snap save is free. Get your face tune is free. Edit it and post it. Stop waiting for everything to be perfect stop waiting to have the best gadgets or to have the best devices edit your picture and post it i think that will be all for today guys what do you think i'm gonna do another video i think in my next video i'm gonna give you guys some gist <laughs> if you guys know what happened to me this last week oh i suffered hey son of man suffered i saw <laughs> Anyway, I'll give you guys that just in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share it, subscribe. Love you. Bye.